Today I'm going to show you how to play your Xbox 360, your PlayStation, or any other AV device inside your car. So here I have the Hyundai Genesis, and this here is an inverter. We have a multi-system cable, so PlayStation, Xbox, and even the Wii is supported. We have the PlayStation controller, Xbox controller. We have this little adapter, so we can plug it into the car. And of course, the consoles themselves, and the power adapters. So, let's get started. In the vehicle, like a Hyundai Genesis, we have an auxiliary port right here. This is the same one where you're able to play music. So we have to unplug that, take our AV adapter, plug it right into the auxiliary. Now in some cars, like minivans and SUVs, they already have these three-prong RGB, yellow, white, red cable or input. But in my car, it doesn't. So we're going to plug this right in. And also, this power inverter, which is rated for 140 watts, we have to plug that into our 12-volt DC area right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've plugged in all the right cables. You can see we have the AV right here. AV is plugged right in to the AV place. We have the Xbox power adapter, power into this brick, brick and right into the power inverter. You can see power inverter is plugged in, all right? And the only thing we need to do is start the car. We need to start the inverter first. Now some inverters are louder than others, so you can hear this one's got a quite noisy cooling fan, but there are others you can get that are better. So we go to the aux. There's no video signal right now. We press the Xbox. Okay. So right now you can see controlling the Xbox and just to show you we have the inverter running the Xbox is on and now I can go to my games I can start up whatever I want. Yep, so right now the engine's running just so I can make sure the battery's all good. Uh, let me just show you right here. So you can hear the noise coming from the inverter right now. But everything is running as it should. Power cable's in, AV cable's in, everything's in. And oh goody, we can start up our game. So at this point, we're just dependent on our Xbox loading speed. There we go, you can see. I'm playing with the Xbox. And now, I'm just gonna hook the same thing since we have the same type of cable, I could do the same thing with the PlayStation 3. So I'm going to power this right off. Now we're back to no video signal. PlayStation 3, we use the exact same cable, except now we're using the AV for the PS3. Plugged right into the PS3. We have the power right there, plugged into the same inverter. AV still plugged in the same place. We have a controller right here. Let's give the car a start by holding the power button for 5 seconds. So now we can press that PS button. Let's continue right there. The PS3 starting up.
there's that sound system working. Another loading screen to get through. And at this point, the PlayStation is working as it should be.